So we're here with uh, director Andy Brown of Replay Events. Tell us uh, what uh, this year has been like for you, Andy. Uh, busy, very busy. Uh, we've done 14 shows this year, which is our biggest uh, year yet. Uh, we introduced two new things this year, the uh, London Gaming Market, and we've done three of those. Uh, we've got the uh, fourth one coming up in November, and our new show that was launched this year was Play Expo Glasgow, which was really successful. We had nearly 5,000 people come to that, so for a launch show we were really pleased with that. So obviously here at um, Play Expo Manchester, tell us sort of the highlights of uh, this year's show, Andy. Uh, we've had some really good publisher support, so we've had uh, Namco and 2K Games come. Uh, but for me, on a personal level, I think we've made the uh, Retro Zone the biggest it's ever been. We've managed to cram 300 machines just into the Retro Zone alone. Uh, we expanded the LAN, we introduced a 32-player Doom LAN, which has been really, really popular. Uh, and the arcade and pinball has, has grown again. So I think we've got nearly seven or 800 uh, retro machines and consoles and arcades, and so that's, that for me, that's been the highlight. I have to do the um, standard question, Andy. Um, I don't think I've asked you this ever. Tell me um, if you had to pick a, a favorite retro game, what, what that might it be uh, for you? Mon Monty on the run. Monty on the run. Monty on the run. Gremlin Graphics. Pete Harrop, the Commodore 64 bit. Why that game in particular? I, it was, I think everyone has a game that they played when they were a kid that they were just completely and utterly besotted with, frustrated by, and that's the game for me. I played, I remember getting up early in the morning, playing it after my paper round, getting in from school, playing that instead of my homework, never quite being able to finish it, never quite being able to get past certain points in it. And it's the one game I've always kind of gone back to, and that as well, having the uh, crazy music in it and it just kind of summarised that kind of era for me, that Commodore 64 era that I was in. Great, thanks Andy, thank you for your time on uh, Games You Love. Cheers, bye. So don't forget to check out gaming reviews and news at gamesylove.com.